I'm doing a reference check for Deneandra conjugans. So you can see the habitat. It's the this grassland habitat, and many times they can be really, really weedy areas where you find the species. So here's Deneandra conjugans, and the way to identify it is that you're typically in the Otai area, Chula Vista area. Um, and it has between seven to ten ligules or rays. So you can see the head and all the ray flowers. There's eight on this one. Okay, and then to differentiate it from Deneandra fasciculata, the heads on this one have five ray flowers and they're fasciculate. That means in bunches. So it doesn't even really look similar at all to that one. And then Deneandra paniculata is another Deneandra, but it's more typical in northern San Diego County um, and further north of San Diego County. And the way to tell that is to look at the fillaries. So on Deneandra conjugans, the fillaries have a lot of glands and the size of the glands is super diverse. Um, whereas on Deneandra paniculata, the, the size of the glands, they're all the same size. So you don't have that diversity in Deneandra paniculata. There's some collections of Deneandra paniculata down in the Otai area, but they're really, really old. So the likelihood of seeing it is a lot lower. You most likely have Deneandra conjugans if you're down in Chula Vista, Otai area, Del Rey. Okay, so June 7th, Deneandra conjugans habitat, Deneandra conjugans reference check.